Welcome back. Recently, Adidas collaborated with cricketer Rohit Sharma and unveiled their first ever collaboration of sustainable apparel for the Indian market. This collection comes in continuation with Adidas and Rohit's long-standing partnership and commitment to end plastic waste. Rohit has been committed towards this cause in partnership with Adidas as witnessed during the past two editions of the IPL where he used the platform to showcase specially crafted shoes highlighting the cause and spreading awareness around marine plastic pollution. To tell us more today, we are joined in by Rohit Sharma along with Sunil Gupta, Senior Director, Adidas India. Rohit, Sunil, welcome to CNBC TV 18. Thank you so much. Rohit, first of all, congratulations on the launch of your new collection. Uh, tell us, uh, you know, the idea behind it and what is the kind of involvement that you had in this launch? It was important, uh, this, this thought of creating something uh, was going through my mind for a long period of time and um, um, wanted to come out and talk about it, which I've done it before. With the I, in the IPL match. Yeah, yes. and now with Adidas, obviously, you know, giving Adidas giving me that platform. Uh, I've been associated with Adidas for almost a decade now. Uh, it's been a fruitful journey, and now to come up with something like this is icing on the cake for me, honestly. Uh, so, yep, uh, uh, this is just to start off what we are creating now here. I had this thought in my mind for a long period of time, which I just said, uh, you know, in way back in 2016, when I heard about what happened to Great Barrier Reef. Uh, and I'm a ocean lover. My family loves ocean. They love marine life. And uh, it made me really sad to see what happened there. Uh, you know, the corals were bleached. Uh, the coral, which is supposed to be colorful, uh, com turned out completely white. And that made me really sad. Only because to see, you know, what happened there and to see the marine animals going through. Obviously, it's the global warming, uh, you know, uh, and something that we need to be aware of. And uh, all we are trying to do here is create as much awareness as possible and uh, educate people, uh, you know. So, and now, now that I have, I have the platform uh, uh, to speak about it, uh, to create awareness, uh, you know, uh, uh, I can do more things uh, in the future as well. Yeah, uh, that's a great uh, thought. Actually, on that note, uh, Sunil, uh, what difference does it make when an ambassador himself is involved in a uh, particular cause and uh, just merely lending a face uh, to your campaign? I, I think it's all about intent and commitment for me. I think if you're really invested in a project, not just from the sake of being the face of a brand and what the campaign is all about, but in terms of designing what the range really stands for. I think that's where Rohit really has played a strong, strong part in this. Uh, he is an ocean ambassador, uh, ocean warrior, and, and, and he's brought a certain sense to the design, uh, what things should, you know, uh, we should talk about in terms of the, the graphics and the storytelling. And I think it's really been helpful for us uh, in this journey. Okay, and what does sustainability mean to you as an individual? How uh, do you go about uh, sustainability in your everyday life? Sustainability is something that um, should be way of life not just for me and him or you, but for everyone. Uh, that, that is what I think. And, uh, you know, uh, the single use is, a single use of plastic is something that we should try and avoid. You know, th that's where sustainability comes into the picture. Uh, and everything that we are wearing today is made from recycled uh, plastic. You know, it's been recycled and made uh, into uh, a beautiful, uh, you know, outfit. So I think that that's that's probably how you know the life should go go on, and everyone needs to buy into that. Uh, it's it's I know uh, for a lot of people who have not known to this will find it difficult, but that's where we come into play, and we we need to educate people and make them understand what it is yeah, what it is yeah also uh, sunil at adidas you guys uh, uh, you know had uh, have made a commitment towards sustainability uh, which also meant that by 2025 you aim uh, to have 90% of uh, you know the product to be sustainable uh, what are the steps uh, taken in uh, that direction and how are you achieving that uh, see, for us, plastic is plastic waste is the problem, and I think innovation is the solution, and we have to be part of that solution. Uh, so what we've done is, for example, we're talking about you know virgin polyester. Uh, we've committed by 2024 we'll replace all virgin polyester by recycled polyester wherever possible. Right, that's one step that we've taken. 
We also work very strongly with our global partner, which is Parley. Right? Over the last five years, we've made over 50 million pairs of uh, ocean plastic footwear. Uh, 2021 alone, 18, 18 million pairs were made from plastic, which is taken out from the oceans. So I think we uh, we need to work together, and I think partnerships is, is a long way to uh, is a way to build that. Right? We are, when you ta tackle such big problems, it's only through partnerships we're getting people together and rallying behind a cause. Another case in point with, with Rohit Sharma. So I think this is the way we need to build on sustainability. Yeah, yeah. And on the note of partnerships, as you mentioned, it has been a long-standing partnership with Adidas. So how has that panned out over the uh, course of uh, one decade, if I'm not mistaken? Almost, yeah. I mean, look, you're talking about 10 years. So a lot has happened. Uh, a lot of lot of things uh, that I wanted to do with Adidas, uh, I've done it. Um, it started obviously in 2013 and till, till date, uh, it's been fruitful and... Adidas, what I like about Adidas is uh, they're not just talking, they're leading by an example, by actioning it. You know, that is what attracts me and that is something that is making me fall in love with the brand even more than I am, uh, honestly. And obviously, you know, uh, at the start when, uh, before I signed up with Adidas, I, I've seen all my childhood heroes with Adidas. So I always wanted to be part of that family. Uh, you know, and I finally I got an opportunity uh, to be with the brand, and yeah, I'm not looking to leave them pretty any anytime soon. Yeah, so action is what uh, keeps uh, the brand ticking for Rohit Sharma is what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, over to you, uh, Sunil. Uh, uh, over the years, over the past two years, especially, we have seen consumers preferring brands associating themselves uh, with purpose or cause. Uh, uh, so can you share with us, uh, uh, you know, what uh, has been the impact of, you know, this uh, end the uh, plastic, end, end uh, polluting uh, the oceans, run for the oceans or uh, campaigns like uh, associating yourself with women empowerment. How has that worked for brand Adidas? 75% uh, of the Gen Z audience actually looks at sustainability when making a purchase, right? So clearly it matters to them and if it matters to them, then it matters to us, right? And I think that's where we're making the right steps, taking the right things, be it through our partnerships with Rohit, with Parley, and we're trying to do the right things to ensure that we all work towards a common cause, which is towards ending plastic waste. Yeah, and right at the beginning of the interview, you mentioned that this is this collection launch is just a start. So, what are the big plans? You know, how are you planning no, to I mean, take we, it forward? We, we, we are working uh, with what can be our next step towards it. Uh, yeah. Obviously, a lot of planning and a lot of uh, thought process uh, goes into it. Uh, but I'm happy at the moment that this collection has come out first, and I'm quite excited to wear all of them. It's quite amazing. Um, but yeah, obviously the plans are bigger and hopefully uh, we can let you guys know soon. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we just there's some more planning that we need to do. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks for these insights and thanks for joining us on CNBC TV 18 today. Thank, thank you, thank you so much for having much. us here. Thank, thank you. you. With that, it's a wrap on Storyboard. This week, you can catch all of our content on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Thanks for watching. We will be back same time next week. See you soon.